Hello everyone and welcome to the house. Today's episode is a collaboration with my beautiful sisters, Heaven's Pearls. This collab is titled The Gift of Faith. Hang in there, we're going to discuss the difference between the gift of faith and the fruit of faith. See you soon. Alright guys, let's jump right into this very quick and easy high-end dollar store DIY. We're going to turn these pieces into this. Let's get it done. Now, one thing to be aware of when you're using the rapid fuse glue, if you're using it in, on a piece where the air is not going to be able to get to it, it will fog up, frost up like this on the inside. For this project, I didn't mind because it's going to be covered. Um, I noticed it also did that last year when I did a few projects for Christmas with the globes. It did the exact same thing. So, just be aware of that fact. And now, let's get it. And for this project, we're going to be using the Rust-Oleum Universal Metallic Multi-Surface Paint and Primer Champagne Mist. Okay, the first two coats have been applied. We're going to do one more coat when this completely dries. And we are be head to the finish line. Also here, once it was completely dried, I hit it with the Rust-Oleum High Luster Lacquer and just to seal the paint so it wouldn't chip. And I'm also going to add this Folk Art Metallic Gold just to give it some texture, some contrast, and some depth. And I'm using a sparse brush to create this effect. Now let's feed our spirit band a nugget or two while we are continue to create this DIY project. The purpose of this collaboration was to give you some knowledge regarding the gift of faith versus the fruit of faith. Now the fruit of faith is given to all believers once they receive Christ as their Lord and Savior. Faith given in the fruit form is an action. It shows through what you do as a believer. Now, the gift of faith is given only by the Holy Spirit to whom he deems worthy or is deserving of that particular gift. The gifts of the Spirit are to edify, to build up the body of Christ. Now, the person with the gift of faith has an extraordinary and supernatural ability to believe unwavering the promises of God and that is an awesome gift to have it is a gift that all believers should actually want and the person who this gift has been given to shows forth in great humility of godliness and reliance on God's promises they show forth as being known as a quiet, fearless person, but yet still zealous in the things of the Lord, in the things that build up and bring forth the promises and the prophecy that has been shown forth through God's Word. To sum it all up, God gives all Christians saving faith. The spiritual gift of faith is given to some who exhibit extraordinary amounts of faith in their Christian walk and who, by their faith, are a joy 
and an encouragement to others always. I pray that you are blessed and you have been blessed by the truth of nuggets that I have given you today. And if you want to delve deeper into those in the Bible that were actually given the gift of faith, just so you would have the knowledge for yourself, because the word says my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Study Hebrews chapter 11. This book is commonly called the Hall of Faith. It's very interesting. It's very enlightening. Be blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And remember, a disciple of Christ is known by the fruit they bear. And that fruit is born only through the choice you make to allow the character of God to manifest through you. Be blessed.